fairies and welcome back to my channel. It's Shannon. I'm excited for today's video because I'm going to be sharing with you 10 of my current most favorite makeup items that I've been reaching for almost every time I do my makeup. Things that I've discovered within maybe like the last six months to a year that I've fallen in love with and I want to share with you because you're my friend and I love you. So make sure that you do subscribe to my channel if you ever want to see me again. That is your best bet at doing so. I'd love to have you be a part of our fairy fam over here. This video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I really appreciate it and let's go ahead and get into it. I am wearing all these products on my skin today as well and I love the way that my makeup turned out. I will of course have everything linked down below for you so that you can shop any of these items if you would like to. First product we are going to talk about are the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I've been using these every time I've done my makeup since I've bought them. I showed them to you in a previous video and I'm in love. I really am. I am in love with these. I love the way they layer under my makeup. They add the prettiest glow to my skin. They make my skin feel so soft, dewy, a little bit tacky and fresh, and overall I feel like it just brightens up my skin when I add these on. The smell is pretty good to me. It has like a light watermelon scent. The packaging and bottle is adorable. I had never used niacinamide before, but I feel like my skin absolutely loves it. And I I really cannot do my makeup without these anymore. It has become a part of my daily routine and I absolutely love these. I'll have to try more from Glow Recipe because I really like their watermelon setting mist. I have that as well. They're my babies. I love them. Next up we have my current favorite primer. I absolutely love this so much that I have completely used up this one. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Pour and Prime Balm. You can see I've pretty much just used up this entire thing. How satisfying is that to use up a product? I feel like it's kind of rare that that happens. I actually bought another one so I got this one out so I can show you what it actually looks like. This is the brand new one. Like a nice balmy texture. It's really soft. I love the way it feels on my skin. I love the way that my makeup layers on top of this. It just like evens out, blurs my skin, lays down a perfect foundation to put makeup over top of. Like that it doesn't really have a scent. I like the pink tone of it. I just love the way this feels. Like I said, I used up this whole thing and already bought another one, so that tells you that I really do love this stuff. I do really like a lot of Tarte's products. I feel like they do a really good job. This is one of my absolute favorites from them. If you're looking for a new primer, I do recommend this. The only downside to this is it does get used up pretty quickly. It did not last that long, but I think think if you're in the market for it, it's definitely worth the splurge. Next up, if you've been watching my videos, you might have seen this coming. I have the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I have fallen in love with this from the moment I tried it. I started out with a mini and I upgraded to the full size. I've been using this almost every time I do my makeup, mostly in place of my typical BB cream. I've kind of replaced it with this. Actually, I think meant to layer under your makeup, which I have done, but I prefer to just kind of wear it on its own. It gives me like a really nice light glowy coverage and I just absolutely love the way it looks because it still looks natural but it gives like some coverage and glow and I just think it is so pretty. Price tag is not super cheap but I feel like it is worth the splurge if you're willing to invest. I haven't had any negative reactions on my skin from it or anything like that. I do have the shade 3 Fair in mine. <laughs> Chef's Kiss. I absolutely love this. This product has been everything to me ever since I bought it. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I have the shade Bliss. I absolutely love this blush. I've used it almost every time I've done my makeup. I reach for it constantly. I love the way it just blends into my skin. It's got like a light whipped creamy texture. I can put on a decent amount and it just kind of blends out really easily. It's kind of hard to overdo for a liquid blush 
product. Just can't say enough good things about this. I love the packaging too. It's definitely grown on me. Very sleek and simple and pretty. And the color is just absolutely beautiful. There are a lot of other shades you can choose from. It's light enough that I can layer it under powder and then add more powder blush on top without being too much, which I really do like. Also been using this to blend into my concealer under my eyes. I talked about this in my last video and I've been really liking to use it for that as well. This stuff is amazing. I highly recommend. Never thought I would buy like a celebrity makeup brand, but here we are. Next up, this is my current favorite bronzer. I've been using this instead of all my other bronzers pretty much every time I've done my makeup. That is this Too Faced, the Teddy Bear It All bronzer. I showed this a while back when I first bought it and I have been in love with it ever since. First of all, it's adorable. I love teddy bears, so I love the concept of it. And you can see that I have used up a good bit of this. The teddy bear used to be like, what am I trying to say, like raised up and now it's gotten like flat and indented. This is just the prettiest glowy bronzer in my opinion. I love the glow and sheen it adds to my skin. It doesn't end up looking muddy at all and it makes me feel like I was just out in the sun. I got a nice glowy tan every time I put it on. It's absolutely beautiful and I love to just take it on like a fluffy brush and just dust it all over my cheeks. It just blends so evenly and I like to put a little bit on my nose too. I love the way it looks on my nose. So cute. Absolutely love. I'm thinking that I will probably end up hitting pan on this one. I also talked about this blush in my last video and I do have a TikTok about it. This is the Viral Dior Blush, the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow in the shade 001 Pink. This was really hard for me to get my hands on. I was watching for it on Sephora for a really long time. I don't think I've used any other blush since I bought this almost two weeks ago. I've used this every time I've done my makeup. I absolutely love the bright pink color of it. It just looks so pretty. It was definitely pricey, but I feel worth the splurge. I've already flattened out part of it from using it so much, so you can see how much I love it. Chef's kiss again. I think this was worth the viral hype in my opinion, and it's just the prettiest blush ever. Yes, this is the third blush product of the video. If you can tell, I really love blush. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Luminous Blush. The way I have been using this is as a blush topper over top of the Dior blush. I've been using this pretty much every time I do my makeup as well. I just think it layers on top so pretty. It's almost like a mixture of a highlighter and a blush mixed together, which I love. It just adds the prettiest pink glow, and I love the way it layers over top of the other blush. So stinking pretty. I am just in love with that combo. Those three layered together are like my perfect blush combo right now. I just have the mini size. It was kind of a splurge so I just went for the mini because I feel like this is still gonna last for a really long time. And yeah, just so pretty. Absolutely love. Have been reaching for that combo nonstop almost every single day. A lot of this has been more high end. Now we have a product that literally costs $1 or maybe $1.25 depending on where you live. The LA Colors Highlighter in the shade Shine Bright. None other than the Dollar Tree is where you can find this. I'm gonna say what I use this mostly for is an inner corner highlight on my eyes. I can't believe this is only a dollar. I do really enjoy it as a cheek highlighter and I did use it today in that way. I don't use it all the time like that but it is really pretty as well on the cheek and nose. It's like a really pretty golden toned highlighter and for a dollar you really can't beat it. I find myself reaching for this all the time. Next up we have what I've deemed to be right now I think my favorite eyeshadow palette. I've been reaching for this so much and I do have a lot of eyeshadow palette so I feel like that's really saying something. This is the Alva eyeshadow palette from Odin's Eye Cosmetics. First of all the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I love the little fairy on it. I've had this for quite a while and for a while I wasn't reaching for it but it has come back into my life and I can't get enough. It just has the prettiest mixture of shimmers, glitters, and mattes. Star of the show 
is this shade right here. It's called Camellia. It is the prettiest pink color, like a pinky mauve with like purple in it. It is the prettiest color on my eye. I could just use that on its own probably every single day. If I had to pick one eyeshadow in the world, it would probably be that. It's just so pretty and I reach for it all the time. Not to mention the glitters in this palette are so pretty. It's like fairies just dusted beautiful glitter on your eyelid. I like that they're all named after flowers. It has a really nice mirror inside. Really, really good quality shadows. I absolutely love this palette. I mean, the packaging alone just really gets me. I absolutely adore this. Odin's Eye has a lot of pretty palettes though, so they probably do have something for everyone. And it's always nice to support a smaller indie brand. This right here has been a ride or die for me for a long time, but I just needed to give a shout out to it. It's just the NYX lip pencil in nude pink. I've used up a good amount of this. I have multiples of these. For me, this is just the most perfect pink nude shade that I can use every single day. It just enhances my lips without looking like too much. Wears really nicely. It's super affordable. I absolutely love this lip pencil. Can't say enough good things about it. I have a few other shades, but nude pink is definitely my all-time fave. Last but not least, we have a tint lip balm. This is the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Pink Blossom. I have been using this all the time. I found that most of the time I don't really want to wear lipstick when I have like stuff to do or if I'm going to work. A tinted lip balm is perfect for me. This is like the prettiest pink shade. It really moisturizes my lips, adds a little pop of color. I find myself reaching for this little tinted lip balm above all my other lip products and I have a decent size amount of them. Really affordable. Burt's Bees has been around forever. This is a really good balm. I know they have other shades, but I am partial to the pink one, and I absolutely love this. All right, beautiful fairies, that is gonna do it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my favorite makeup products. Let me know if you're gonna try any of them out for yourself. I'd really love to hear. I feel like it's always a great moment when you discover a true gem and I love sharing with you the things that I'm loving at the moment so that maybe you can enjoy them too. Uh, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I'd love to have you join our fairy fam. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it and until next week please remember that you are special, beautiful, and magical and I love you so much. Bye!